What an engineering marvel the male body is. It has half the genetic material required for reproduction and the continuation of civilization. Despite having worthless nipples, it can make milk. Be prepared to be captivated by advances and remarkable ability to construct themselves in the worst possible circumstances. Number 50. Male fetuses experience erections when still in the womb. Number 49. Men have a G-spot as well. By pressing your prostate, you can locate it. Number 48. Men over 50 may begin developing breasts. Number 47. Although it varies from man to man, a healthy guy will often oppose having 40 million sperm released at once. Each time, a man may create up to 200 million sperm. Numeral 46. The member of an American guy had an average size of 5.1 to 5.5 inches when fully erect, per a study that was published in the U.S. National Institutes of Health. Number 45. Your member size is unaffected by nationality. One study that included more than 15,000 males from throughout the world concluded that the average penis size was 5.17 inches. Number 44. If it's just for one night, studies have revealed that women prefer on average a larger phallus, with data indicating that they prefer a penis that is roughly 6.3 inches long and 4.8 inches in diameter, which is larger than the norm. Number 43. We've all heard the saying, growers versus showers, but is it true? According to a Healthline survey, shoulders make up the remaining 24% of men who are growers. Number 42. A smaller penis has historically been preferred, yet in some societies a larger penis was a symbol of greater manhood. Number 41. Men often have darker hair than women, in part due to the larger levels of melanin they possess. Number 40. According to the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, just 24% of women snore ostensibly for health reasons, compared to about 40% of males who snore regularly. Number 39. You may have heard that if a man has enormous feet, his member will be large as well, but this is just one of the many myths surrounding the penis. Number 38. Semen is more than just a collection of sperm. It also includes citric acid, free amino acids, fructose, enzymes, phosphoricoline, prostaglandin, potassium, and zinc, according to one scientific source. Number 37. Men often have a faster metabolism than women since they typically have higher muscle mass. Number 36. You can be accused of neurosexism if you assert that men and women have distinct brains. We do not want it to happen to us, yet men may perform better on spatial and motor skills due to distinct brain structures. Number 35. Men typically experience three to five erections while sleeping each night, some of which may last up to 30 minutes. Number 34. There might be a problem if you don't have any stiffies throughout the night. Erectile dysfunction affects 52% of mature men and it becomes more common beyond the age of 40. Number 33. An injury was reported by 25% of groomers, according to the study titled Prevalence of Pubic Hair Grooming Related Injuries. But female groomers were also included in this study. How severe can the wound be? Number 32. The Fournier gangrene condition was the worst we could uncover in terms of injuries caused by cutting and shaving down there. Number 31. Anish Seath, a gastroenterologist at Princeton, created an entire book about poop including what the different colors imply and how firm they are. Number 30. Men have thicker skin than women. Did you know that? They do, and testosterone is the reason why. The research found that men's skin was typically 10 to 20% thicker than women's. Number 29. Men are often warmer than women. Number 28. Some scientists, according to a British Medical Journal article, think that man flu is just men moaning. Number 27. Men are theoretically capable of producing milk. Number 26. Additionally, you might be unaware that young men occasionally develop breasts that resemble those of women. Number 25. Generally speaking, guys are leaner than women. The ability to bear children is not the reason why women have higher body fat. It is an evolutionary adaptation. Number 24. The U.S. National Institutes of Health published a report about the natural disparities between men and women. The findings revealed that male teeth were always bigger than female teeth. Number 23. Men's tooth crowns have more dentin. One of the tissues that make up a tooth is dentin. Number 22. This is a well-known truth. Women have a better pain tolerance since they have evolved to give birth. But men appear to have a larger pain tolerance in trials when men and women were exposed to identical pain stimuli. Number 21. Men are said to have fewer ribs than women, according to certain reports. That is complete nonsense. Number 20. Women tend to find men with higher testosterone levels to be more attractive. Number 19. 
Although a man's testosterone levels can fluctuate throughout the day, some men do have higher amounts overall. Additionally, there is a condition known as irritable male syndrome, which may explain why men get cranky as they age and have lower testosterone levels. Number 18. There is no upper age restriction on a man's ability to generate sperm and bear children. Number 17. Male sperm, according to the American Society for Reproductive Medicine, is still of superior quality in men under the age of 40. Number 16. This is one of the reasons why, in male-female relationships with an age difference, men favor younger women since, from an evolutionary standpoint, they are still capable of having children. Number 15. Losing hair could be a man's biggest nightmare, but how horrible is it? Women prefer bald males, according to several studies. Number 14. According to studies, 50 years old will see some male pattern baldness in half of all males. Number 13. As we previously stated, this typically begins to occur as a man matures. The Guardian spoke with a man by the name of Sam Wilson about some incidents of teenagers becoming bald naturally. Number 12. Male orgasms are distinct from female ones. They got a shorter span of orgasm. Number 11. The point of no return is a term that is frequently used to describe the male orgasm. This is known as ejaculatory inevitability, and it indicates that Siemens has already begun traveling to the urethra and is poised to take flight. Uh, number 10. A guy must be aroused for his spinal cord to send signals that cause his member to tighten before anything else can take place. Number 9. Your semen is necessary for your sperm. Keep in mind that you must remove the entire bundle to get the egg. Number 8. If you're curious if you can examine sperm. Sperm is approximately one-fifth of an inch long and is roughly 10,000 times smaller than the egg it seeks to mate with. Number 7. Men may truly detect a woman's ovulation simply by smelling her. A woman's egg matures during ovulation, at which point the ovary sends it down the fallopian tubes to wait for one of the fortunate sperms to make contact. Number 6. The disassembler genes at the major histocompatibility complex, or MHC, which may serve to boost the MHC, or overall heterozygosity strategy, are preferred by particular individuals and animals. Number 5. The egg itself might be able to draw the proper kind of sperm according to the expert. According to him, unfertilized human eggs release molecules known as chemoattractants, which operate as a kind of chemical breadcrumb trail for sperm to follow. Let's now leave sperm behind. Number 4. Did you know that men often perceive fewer color shades? This is true because men only have one X chromosome which contains the retinol cones. Men are also better at detecting brightness than women. Number 3. The male nipple something you should probably expect at us to have discussed before. What purpose does it serve? Men have nipples because male and female embryos look very similar when they are developing. However, the Y chromosomal gene alters and the testes begin to mature after around seven weeks of gestation. The timely bundle of blood begins to produce testosterone at that time, but that doesn't imply the nipples have to be removed. What would be the sense of loss? Nobody is being harmed by them. Number 2. Men might not require is what we refer to as the foreskin. After all, they eliminate it in other societies. Is that the proper course of action? There are supporters and opponents of the foreskin in the article Vital or Vestigial. According to several scientists quoted by the author, the foreskin is no longer necessary and has been dubbed the floppy disk of the male anatomy. Now number 1. This is personal. Boys frequently mentioned their balls dropping when the writer was growing up as if such things were swept one day and fell to the ground. When males are younger, they are undoubtedly close to the body, but as boys mature and their testosterone levels rise, their balls grow larger. If nothing appears to be happening while several children are waiting for their balls to drop, it can be quite upsetting. When the youngster is already an adult, there is absolutely no abrupt drop. In reality, bones do not fall.